So today we are starting uh, a new lecture about the cell and the components of the cell. We know that there are about 100 trillion cells inside the human body and uh, which uh, and we know that cell is the structural and functional unit of uh, a human body because all the structures of human body the uh, all structure of all the organs of human body like heart lungs liver kidneys they that is basically made of cells and the functions of all the organs of human body like functions of the heart functions of the kidney function of the liver functions of the brain and function of the lungs they also basically originate from the cells they um, their that cells that are making their specific organs so today we see that uh, what basically this cell is made of we know that basically the human body is uh, made of 100 trillion cells but all the 100 trillion cells have certain characteristics in common because they have some basic substances which are making the cell we know that cell basically contains a nucleus a nucleus is surrounded by the cytoplasm inside the nucleus is nucleoplasm and outside the nucleus is cytoplasm the nucleus and the cytoplasm are separated by a nuclear membrane similarly the cytoplasm and uh, cytoplasm is uh, being uh, uh, prevented with uh, from the contact with outside environment with the cell membrane or the plasma membrane the substances which are making the nucleus the cytoplasm and other cell organelles like golgi bodies uh, ribosomes vacuoles pro uh, peroxisomes etc etc they all are collectively known as protoplasm so what is basically protoplasm protoplasm is uh, the all the um, basically protoplasm consists of all the nutrients or the different substances which are making the cell all the organelles of the cells all the structures of the cells the membranes etc etc so now we start uh, the different component so we start studying the different component of the protoplasm the first and very important component of protoplasm is water. It is making uh, from 70 to 85% of the cell by concentration. And uh, what it uh, basically contains, it uh, basically contains some uh, dissolved substances and uh, there are some floating particles on the surface of water which is basically present in the cell. And the basic function of uh, cell uh, water in the cell is to keep the cell hydrated give it some turgor and it helps in certain chemical reactions which are occurring some are occurring in the dissolved substances and some reactions are basically occurring on the particles which are floating on the surface of water after the um, water the next abundant uh, substance inside the cell or the component of the protoplasm uh, are proteins we have uh, different types of proteins but basically they are divided into structural proteins and functional proteins structural protein basically they make structures of different uh, organelles that help to achieve uh, some um, functions and functional proteins they are basically they basically consist of enzymes the structural protein basically inside the cell are known as intracellular proteins and they basically make the um, microtubules microtubules will help um, in the formation of cilia or axons or the spindles which will move the cells during mitosis or uh, uh, microtubules will also uh, make substances which will keep uh, the structure of the cell the structure of nucleus structure of uh, cell organelles like ribosomes peroxisomes and their distance with each other 
but the extracellular substances uh, sorry the extracellular proteins they basically consist of fibrillar proteins and they are more abundant in collagen fibers and they are present uh, basically in the elastic uh, tissues in the blood vessels uh, ligaments tendons etc etc the functional proteins they are different from the structural because they are mobile they can move structural proteins are fixed they cannot move from here to there they are uh, fixed in their position they cannot move while the functional proteins they can move around in the cell and they help in achieving the, some um, helping this cellular reactions for example if the cell wants to make energy from some substances then the proteins the functional proteins in the form of enzyme will help to make energy out of the food substances so there are a lot of enzymes a lot of uh, functional proteins a lot of structural proteins which we will study uh, in the further chapters after the proteins um, we have some important substances by the name of ions which uh, which are very very important in cellular reactions electrochemical transmissions and uh, coordinations of uh, different cellular uh, organelles and uh, different body parts there are basically two types of ions uh, one are uh, more abundant inside the cells while other are more abundant outside the cells but small amounts of those are also present inside the cells so the ions which are present abundantly inside the cells consist of potassium magnesium phosphate sulfate and bicarb while other ions which are present in small amount in inside the cell but more abundantly outside they consist of sodium chloride and calcium they are present inside the cell but they are more abundantly present outside the cell so they are uh, in abundance extracellularly but they are still present inside the cell and they help in cellular reactions electrochemical transmissions uh, and uh, the um, uh, coordinations and um, transfers of impulses etc then uh, uh, after the eyes we have the lipids lipids are basically those substances which cannot be dissolved in water and they make about uh, 2 to uh, about 2 percent of the um, cell structure the important lipids in the cell are phospholipids and cholesterol the names which you must have heard about and uh, apart from phospholipids and cholesterol we also have some other um, type of lipids by the name of triglycerides which are neutral fats lipids basically uh, make about 2% of the cell but in some cells like fat cells there may be triglycerides or neutral fats uh, up to 95% they will be occupying about 95% of the size of the cell and they are basically a good source of energy when we need energy and uh, uh, they are a very good source, source uh, in the long term they store energy and when uh, glucose is not available they uh, keep on releasing energy and they help us and after the lipids we have carbohydrates carbohydrates are present uh, in the cells about one uh, percent of the cell mass uh, is made of uh, carbohydrates but in cell, uh, some cells like for example muscle cells they will be making about three percent of the cell and um, and in some cells like uh, liver cells where carbohydrates are stored they will be making about six percent of the cell mass the basic uh, really, uh, basically they help in nutrition for example glucose which is a very really available source of energy uh, it is a carbohydrate similarly carbohydrate when uh, they make polymers they can uh, get stored inside the liver or muscles as glycogen and when the body is in need of energy then these starts uh, releasing into the 
blood and they helps in providing energy and uh, helps in functions of the human body so to summarize a human body is made of organs brain liver tissue and uh, brain liver lungs kidneys etc the organs are made of cells but the cells themselves are made of protoplasm so what basically protoplasm protoplasm is protoplasm is nothing but it is the combination of water proteins ions lipids and carbohydrates most abundantly we have water after water we have proteins from 10 to 20 percent which may be structural protein functional proteins or it may be intracellular or extracellular then we have lipids making about two percent of these cells and then we have carbohydrates and ions so that's all about the protoplasm